Hey, <clears throat> hey everybody, this is Frankie Abrazino. Um, we're just getting started. If you're catching this later as a podcast when it's not live, the first few minutes I wait for the alert to go out and I share it on my other pages, uh, which it just went out, so I'm going to start sharing it. It takes a couple seconds. Now, this is an interactive uh, newscast, if you will, covering local news. It's unedited, unscripted. I just wing it by the seat of my pants here. Interactive, meaning you can go and type any questions on the sidebar there. And if I see the question, if I know the answer, I'll respond. Um, some people use it just to say hi, or some people t may use it just to tell me to get lost. Um, one more share, and then we're going to go ahead and get started on the newscast. You know, I was just reading, I haven't shared this yet, just before I came on here, and it's Pinellas County, but it, a lot of times I'll share stuff that impacts us locally within, within the Venice, Sarasota, Northport areas. And this one is from WTSB, and it's chickens test positive for West Nile. And they cover how the health department went out there and found West Nile and Pinellas County are in Pinellas County from mosquitoes. And they're urging people to protect themselves from mos mosquitoes, you know, uh, stay indoors, stay indoors during peak hours, which is just doesn't make sense. It's not going to happen. But that's what they're telling the individuals to do. I bring that up. Thank you, Linda. Um, I bring that up because I went on the mosquito page and for what? Since Irma, they've posted three sprays. They actually posted four, but I think one was postponed. And there's a lot of areas that were missed throughout the county. So you're going to start to see a lot of mosquito issues, especially with a lot of the standing water. We have uh, more storms that are coming in this weekend from the lows that are to our south. And we're supposed to get a lot of rain primarily. I mean, it looks pretty cloudy like my rain today, but primarily tomorrow and Sunday. We're going to have a mosquito issue. And when you see stuff like this um, with the the chickens testing positive, positive for West Nile just in St. Pete, right around the corner, to me, it's something that's concerning. I'll share some more information about it later, though. Um, also, as stuff comes up here, I'll, I get uh, news breaks all the time that pop up on here. You'll hear my phone beeping. And again, if you're just joining interactive, type any questions over there that you may have. Hiring a licensed uh, professional. A lot of people are running in, bring me some lightning. <laughs> Damon Powers loves taking lightning pictures. Um, licensed professionals, there's a huge concern out there that a lot of individuals will be taken in. They had yesterday at the Venice um, Emergency Response, it was open from Sunday until last night at 8, and they had over 400 people that went in and applied for FEMA. Uh, that's not counting the additional people that did it online or over the phone. A lot of these individuals are going to be hiring um professionals, uh, contractors out there, and they want to make sure that you're hiring individuals and you don't become a victim. So they put out some guidelines out there. On any of these things, you go to the uncensoredreport.com at the top right-hand box is a search. Just type in any keyword and you'll find anything that I've put out there like this, unlicensed contracting. Um, what else we got here? All right, sex offenders. Does a day go by that I don't put out sex offenders? That's the question. Actually, today, I don't think I have yet. Four for yesterday in Sarasota, one in Northport. Any updates on the pair? No, Michael. Um, they, I don't know if, well, it depends. I don't know what the last update you had is. Um, last, earlier this week, they expedited the $700,000 estimate and approved it. And so they're going to get on top of it. So instead of it taking until sometime into next year, I think it's going to open up rather a little bit quicker once they can get it done. Um, they'll be able to open up up to the bait shop even faster. I think that was a couple weeks because there wasn't stability, but the rest of the period will take um, until the work is done. And I'm thinking a couple months, but the money was approved. And I think I even ran it about uh, how do they find 700000 magically for the pier, yet they can't find money to fix the fire department. Um, I think that was on a show a couple days ago. Uh, let's see. Deadline for disaster unemployment assistance is October 16th. They give a, go to floridajobs.org or 800 385 Also, I found out with that Venice uh, thread yesterday on the uh, disaster resistance or recovery, you have 60 days from when, when they announce that it's a disaster relief is available to um, go out and apply for it and try to get it. After that, you're totally screwed. Um, putting out more stories, this Puerto Rico thing, how sad is that? 
And every day I see more and more information on there. And I, I feel, I mean, that's just tragic. And these are U.S. citizens, folks. I, you know, it's not like you can drive a FPL truck over there to help them out. They're, you know, I, I mentioned yesterday, I think, about running low on water, running low on food, running low. This is, tons of them still don't have electric. And you just a multitude of problems there. And uh, I tell you what, that's going to be a catastrophe soon. A couple... I, because it's taken forever to get things done, and they've never been um, on top of things. There, I, remember, I when I go there surfing, it seems to me almost like a borderline third world country. And now I can't even imagine the situation over there. Uh, let's see. The next is uh, SPD asked for an unsolved homicide on this individual that this Travis Combs. He was murdered in Sarasota. I don't think that got a lot of traction. Only seven hundred sixty-seven people shared it, but. Uh, Yes, it was a slow day, though, on Facebook. Not a lot of activity on there. But this individual, they're trying to, you know, what SPD is doing, it's pretty cool, is they're going out there and they're trying to use social media, which was not readily available maybe back at a certain point in time, and they're trying to open up these cold cases and see if they can get them solved based upon using, utilizing social media, which is a good thing. Uh, let's see. Venice, Mayaka River Park. You know, I was a little confused on this. I don't know if that includes Snookhaven because that park's, to, in my mind, I think when Maca Park where they do all the kayak launching and I think that's where they put that new flotation, Maca, it's like a kayak flotation dock or something to make it easier for people to get on. And Snookhaven's right there. So I don't know if it, the entire place is opening up and I'm assuming that's where they were referring to when they said Venice Maca Park. Um, no, I didn't see that. Did you see that the murder might be linked to a missing kid? I, I think I missed that part. And, and I may have read it, Damon. I just don't recall that part. Uh, let's see. Concern. <laughs> this lady, so I think I read a comment on this yesterday. A lady was concerned because of all the debris on the streets. We all see it. We, we see it here. Venice, I, um, according to Bob Daniels, the island will be done at the end of this week, and then they'll look at the rest of us. But the breeze is flood, uh, blocking the um, drainage systems that are out there. And like the counties and the city said, don't put your debris in the um, street to block those little sewage canals. And uh, people did it because they didn't want to ruin their lawn, which is a good thing. Um, because, you know, it, I mean, if I would have known it was going to take four or five weeks to pick up the debris, I, I may not have put it on my lawn. I may have ignored the county, too. But this individual is concerned about flooding. And I guess she lives right there in, on the river, or on the Gulf, actually. And uh, she's concerned that it's that the drains will be blocked, causing more flooding. But that's actually a legitimate concern that I think anybody should have out there, um, you know. But if you are concerned about it, go out and move it. Now she's probably referring to everybody else's, and she doesn't want to get out there and move it all. Uh, let's see, missing person alert. This girl, I gotta tell you, this uh, girl that was doing the uh, world rowing. I don't think she's a missing person. She's Cuban. I think she took off from there. And I think she went and looked for asylum. You'll probably find her in Tampa or Miami, um, where all, most a lot of the Cuban community is. Especially if you saw what went out today, where uh, Trump is cutting off the visas and um, pulling a lot of our people out of there. Which, I, yeah, and Damon's writing about those. He tagged me in the link. Are you talking about... Um, that jazz kid, the Jabaz, Jabaz, Jabez, because I know they're out looking in northern, either northern or southern Manatee County. I just posted something from the Sarasota Police Department where they have a team out there in K-9, which is concerning. And I was going to cover that, too, that young 14-year-old individual from the Newtown area. They're out in Manatee County right now based upon some leads, and they're out with, there with K-9s and searchers trying to find it. And... Hope, hopefully that's not accurate because if it is, that means we might have um, a homicide or, you know, fatality. You don't want to call it a homicide, but one and one equals two. And uh, I hope that's not the case with the kids. So uh, that, that's a tragic situation. And I know their parents have been, yeah, him, yeah. I, I know their parents have been upset. And I did post something, and there's some pictures that uh, the, I think it was Sarasota Police Department put out of the friends of the team out there that's trying to find the individual. Um, Alex Miller explained basically why she resigned. And she said because she didn't expect those hours. And again, I got to call bull crap on that, guys. 
you know how many hours I worked. When when I ran just to piss off Holic, I knew I'd have to put in a ton of hours and you only get paid for 20. She knew this. I think why she stepped down is she was voting against a lot of the uh, head Republicans there. She wasn't playing the game, play along to get along, and it pissed them off. She got kicked off some committees, which pissed her off, and she said, screw it, I just don't make enough on this. I'm going to go back to my business. Um, how about this lady with the water? Now, she says she's in the city water. I didn't check her map. I, I took her that she knew what she was talking about, and she had all that guck. And I, I thought I read some comments that people said it looks like poop. But that all <laughs> that all goes to what the water looks like and smells like here in the city. And, you know, I still stand by the fact that that even though Holick and everybody says, uh, oh, that company that put out the water testing results for the city of Venice and city of Northport, they're trying to sell water filters. Well, who the hell cares? Yeah, they might. But they put out actual numbers, and the city never refuted those numbers. They said that, oh, it's not a big deal because we go by this standard, and according to that standard, those numbers are okay. This party that's trying to sell filtration is saying we should follow EPA numbers, which sets a higher standard. Um, their logic is so flawed, it's, it's embarrassing. All right, so Northport's West Villages, you guys probably saw that. A lot of people living in Northport were saying, is this downtown? Don't shoot the uh, deliverer, guys. If you look at that report from WWSB, Chris was out there. Chris kept referring to it as downtown. What I'm thinking is because you're going to have the Atlanta Braves there, you're going to have this whole new Lakewood Ranch-style Main Street. That may just become your new downtown from Northport. 40,000 homes, Publix, you're going to have a ton of stores. Um, or maybe he meant downtown for that new uh, West Villages. Who the heck knows? Who the heck cares? Um, I-75, how about that turn oil turnover yesterday? Caused a lot of headaches, especially in rush hour. Um, that was a bad situation. And now we, millions of temporary jobs. Everyone's always saying they need work. They need work. Irma's got a million of, it says millions. Who would have thought? Millions of temporary jobs available post Irma. Do you really think there's millions? I don't know about that. I think there's probably a lot of them. I'm not sure if it's millions, but they're all over the place. So if you're looking for work, a lot of individuals are out there looking for some income, um, struggling to make ends eat, meet. That may be it. I tell you what, I wish I could get my hands on a dump truck. Probably need a bigger than a dump truck. And I'd go down and start collecting all this debris down in um, Fort Myers. I mean, what, they're paying $10 more a cubic serve, square foot than Sarasota? I'd make a mint. I should have been on top of that. All right, uh, the uh, former sheriff, that guy, BB, that trial's still going on. Um, yesterday, you had some witness testimony. It conflict. They had some conflicting testimony from the witnesses. All in all, from what I'm seeing, a lot of the reporters are tweeting back and forth. Not as much today. I don't think at all today. But um, they're going back and forth, essentially saying that it's um, not looking favorable for Frank BB, the former detective. All right, medical marijuana, again, the green light. I covered that, and then uh, SNN and everybody else put out a story. That, I got to tell you, this uh, the only medical marijuana doctor here is this goofball down by uh, Jack Randa. I don't think I would go to uh, – first of all, who wants to go to a doctor that it, used to make his living removing tattoos because he probably wasn't qualified enough to get picked up by any other practices out there, which is generally the case, and I know this because I'm in the medical industry. And I listen to him talking and just the way he acts and stuff, and – he doesn't give too much credibility to that whole medical marijuana industry. But back to the dispensaries, it's a good thing. Somebody wrote me and said, well, it's just going to bring in all kinds of uh, derelicts and scumbags into Northport. They sent me an email, and I said, yeah, that could be the case. But historically, if you look at these dispensaries, you don't see that. So I, I get what he's saying, but st statistics don't show that. All right, uh, let's see. Hungarian. This is just these Hungarian rowing teams going to this uh, – so I, what is it, cryo, cryogenics? I've always wanted to try that since Sarasota. I guess it helps you heal better. I'm at, I'm work out like crazy. I'm sore like crazy, especially after just surfing what a couple days ago for seven hours, and I'm still sore from it. Um, but it was neat look, listening to that report. Okay, protecting yourself from mosquitoes. I looked at the I watched this video, and I I see not a lot of people did, but it was interesting if you watch it. Some of the stuff that's in your house, certain plants will uh, bring in more mosquitoes. Uh, they just cover a variety of things that will attract more mosquitoes into your houses. And it, 
I think this is Don Collier, but it it plays a role here because we have mosquitoes and, you know, it's, I, I tell you what, I think it's going to get bad, especially with them not spraying and all the standing water everywhere. So whatever you can do to try to limit the amount of mosquitoes, especially with me just telling you guys that West Nile is right around the corner in St. Pete, I would watch it. I mean, it's what, takes two minutes out of your life and you get some valuable information. How about this idiot? I'm a vet. I can't stand this, what they did with this flag. You know, they put it down like a doormat. And they say it's art. And this is at a school. I think it was at an elementary school. A high school. Chicago high schoolers. And I see there's a lot of responses on it. I have no idea what you guys are saying. 194 comments. That just infuriates me, man. That's worse than these idiots taking the knee. You know what? I heard a good comment, though. What was it? It was a lady. It was an interview. I was at the gym today. And she said, you know what? The only time I take a knee is before the Lord. I always stand for the flag. All right, uh, let's see. And I'm not a religious type. You know, I have my, this, this is actually, if anybody's ever wondering, this is actually, uh, they give this to you in Calabria. It means good luck and good fortune. And uh, it's, it's well known throughout Calabria, this thing. But I'm actually a Catholic. I'm not practicing because I, I can't stand what they're doing to the kids. Did you guys see that where the Vatican, that one guy that took off? They're after him now. They want to, there's a warrant out for his arrest. Uh, for pedophilia issues. All right, how about this idiot? Um, flames at the Wawa. Who the hell goes to a Wawa? I love Wawa. Excellent guess. I tell you what, I can get from Daytona back to 75 on Wawa gas, no problem with maybe half tanks to left. I get crap 7-Eleven gas, I got to refill halfway through, uh, halfway down I-4. Wawa, car bursts into flames. The guy's got a cigarette. I can imagine some guy just sitting there with a cigarette popping out of his mouth. It drops right there in the gas, and his car catches on fire. A car bursts into flames at Wawa. I'm, they tell you not to even go out with your cell phone because you could spark a pl off, uh, flame and uh, get you know light stuff up. Wawa, Wawa does have good food, I tell you. What. You know, it amazes me. I, I say that, but I've never eaten there. My wife does all the time. And it's amaz I, I'm amazed because in Daytona, before I came home from surfing, there was a line almost going out the door to get these sandwiches. I'm like, what the hell do they put in those sandwiches? All right. I went for the coffee and the gas. Uh, Whole Foods. Hacked. If you go to Whole Foods. Now, it's not the main POS system there. It's the ones like at the barista or whatever, the different other points of sell. It's not the main Whole Foods one when you're going to the store. And um, so check your credit cards. Pay attention to that. They're club sandwiches. I'll have to try one of those. And um, let's see, there's, again, that girl. Okay, Northport, how about that? And I, I mentioned this yesterday. They sat down and they said, look, it's just suspicious. Don't worry about it. You got, there's no danger. It's just suspicious. I got to tell you, when a cop says there's a suspicious death, I get nervous, especially if I live around there. What's suspicious? What the hell's going on? And um, now they came out, and it was some thug. And I don't know if you guys read it today. I put it out. The guy pistol whipped the, um, this poor guy, Williams, I think is his last name. He pistol whipped him, then shot him point blank in the head. I don't know if you guys have read the story yet. And it was all over drugs and money. So, you know, I don't know if you live on Roxbury. I don't even know what Roxbury is like in Northport. I know my mom, my mother-in-law live there, my nieces. I don't know about Roxbury, but um, you got it. Drugs gone bad there. And um, imagine that. Pistol whipped it and then shot him, blank, you know, right there, boom, in the head. And if you went there when I first put it up, there, I actually put on a, twi a tweet from the Northport Police later, like an hour later, where they actually found the gun and stuff. So if you go back there, you'll see the picture from the tweet. Um, I thought this was good. It, districts around the area, now this is uh, based, WTSP did the report, but it goes all the way down to Sarasota where all the districts were basically coming together and saying, reminding students um, that they need to stand there in the national anthem uh, and the pledge. The pledge I is a little different stuff to, in my mind, but the national anthem, it, it's pretty close to my heart. Um, I would hate to see any high schoolers get out there and kneel during it. And um, I'm sure the schools are trying to avoid any issues where they'll just get a barrage of negative email from parents if that ever happens. Wondering what happened on Wexford Street last night. Where's Wexford, Rhonda? Because I might be able to tell you. Okay, coffee. Today's National Coffee Day. 
We're talking about Wawa. I could have gone to Wawa for the free coffee. <sighs> Wawa. Hitting the big news today. I did see a huge coyote. Oh, 17 comments on that. And I wasn't quick enough to grab my camera when I was coming home from the gym. This thing was in Northport. Wexford Street. Wexford Street. I haven't heard anything. I'll check on it. I'll, I'll contact Josh and see what I can find out, Rhonda. Um, huge coyote. I mean, this thing was... Uh, it was, I, I tell you, it was like a, a St. Bernard. It was, thing, thing was huge, running the streets. I got sidetracked with uh, Rhonda. A crime scene, Northport on Wexford. Okay, I'll check on it. I'll ask Josh. All right. Um, this poor child, they roll me over the spider bite, and Ashley, her life's getting turned. I hate GoFundMes. Whenever I put them up, I always get 20 yahoos that email me and want me to put theirs up. And then when I ignore it or I say no, they go off on me and tell me how much they hate me. And I'm like, well, that'll get it up there, um, which never fails. It happened again with this one. But I feel sorry for this kid. She's on life support. And that picture was just so, you know, and her life's been turned upside down. And now it's financially, medical is so expensive. I do a lot of medical billing. And I can tell you, deductibles are so high. You get the ba basic thing. I was cut with a fin while surfing. I, I, I think I told this the other day. And within minutes, I got out of the water, out of the Gulf, and $10,000 later because my foot got infected. My my daughter asked me, uh, Francesca, how, you know, is it, it you know, they, what are they doing? They need money. And I said, yeah, it's expensive. She's like, how much? I go, well, look, just looking at the picture and knowing how hospitals bill, and they bill outrageously high, um, probably over 100 grand. And so I felt sorry for them. Any word on the people who got caught taking medicine from, from lady? Yeah, you know what? I just saw something where I believe they've tracked them down. I'd have to go read the post. I thought I saw something where they, a cop said they saw uh, bikers on the ground, or not cops, individuals saw bikers on the ground with two cop cars at 776. So go back there. I thought I just saw it just before coming on here. And um, I thought I saw too where the Stephen Baker, he was commenting on everything. Uh, he, he said that they, the police basically knew who they were and were on top of it. All right, uh, Rod Sharing, how great is that? I could have told anybody Rod Sharing is saving um, lives. My uh, daughter is a USF student now. She's a little young, but I know she goes out with the girls and uh, probably drinks. But she And I know one time she told me she did. And she said, but we got Uber, which was responsible. And she only had a little bit of a beer. She, doesn't, she hates beer, so she does one of these things. Well, like I used to, and I, I couldn't, I always drove. And I I was here in Venice, driving up from Border Road to the Venice Avenue and 41 Light when I was 18. And I came up 30 seconds after an accident with a bunch of buddies that were at the same party. We were all drinking. And two of the people died in that car. And I stopped that night on. I would not touch a bear. So what I would do is just act like I was drinking. So I tell my kids, act like you're drinking. And I get the whole peer pressure thing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I know. Why the hell am I telling you guys that? You could care less. All right. Did, how about this report here? I, don't, I Mainstream media did not pick this up about all, a bunch of the airport systems crashing worldwide. And you know what? I was listening to a guy. He did a movie. What is his name? He does a lot of... Um, he does a lot of relief work down in Haiti, and I can't remember his name, but he he, he put out a movie, and ja uh, Charles Daniels was in it, and he basically talked about North Korea doing an EMP attack with a satellite, and it's strange that we're all looking at this whole North Korea, North Korea thing now, because they just had, what, over 1.2 million people sign up to join the military. Um, there seemed a lot of preparation around the world for possible military action. Um, you see Ch China moving troops to the border because they don't want individuals, refugee crisis. And you've seen all this movement and activity. But it was strange that he brought that up. He's like, and um, this is a guy, he talks to the Trump administration. He was actually talking about he owns a ton of uh, uh, airplanes that are perfect for taking supplies into uh into Puerto Rico and stuff. And for some reason, he offered them to the Trump administration. And they said, no, they turned them down. He used to own all the shapes. God, I can't remember his name. He used to own all the shapes and sold those things. Gary, Gary, 
Oh, it'll hit me after I'm done. All right, so we got that new 99L and another threat on top of that coming our way. They said don't be too crazy, just a lot of rain. But rain is probably – we always say in Florida rain is all we need, but lately I don't know if we need rain because we had, we've had just about too much. I think we're good in terms of water supply. Um, so a little concerning. Orioles, how about this? This is a good thing. Sarasota County and the Orioles are doing this free Halloween-themed party at Ed Smith. I just posted it today. Guys, this is totally free. You bring your kids there. They can dress up like Halloween. It's not, remember in Halloween, I, I used to go to um, school dressed up in costume. We get candy and all that. They don't do that crap anymore. So this gives these kids an opportunity to go to here and do it. Um, because, you know, when you walk out at night, who's going to see in the neighborhood? Who's going to see that? Fa now, the fancy costume. Everyone's got to buy them. My mom, she used to dress me up like a girl or a bum. Those were my two costumes. Um, uh, Better buy a bottle of water. Buy all, oh, yeah. DME, too, Damon. D DME, too. Um, and gas. One thing I learned during Irma is I got a ton of DME for up to six months for four people. I got a ton of water. I got my guns. I got my solar light behind me somewhere. I, don't, I need to stock up on gas. You guys went crazy. You took all the gas. Even people that didn't need it. You know what? That and so, That's a good reason why... You almost don't need price controls because price controls will actually are good are, are a bad thing because what happens is you keep them at a flat level. Everyone goes in and buys all the water up. They buy this. My buddy up in Lakeland bought 200 cases of water that he didn't need. And so he takes all the water. Next thing you know, Joe Smith doesn't have any water. But if you allow people to go in there and raise up the prices, supply and demand, guess what? You're not hoarding all the water. You're just getting as much as you need. I know. Some people will say that's a flawed thought. All right, Fugitive Friday, only two shares. I guess people aren't interested in helping the county find Emily Diamond. What's up with that? Only two shares. She's got a nice smile. That's quite the mugshot. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, Sarasota County volunteers invited to celebrate National Public Lands Day. That is tomorrow. If you're interested in that, go check that out. Um, this Mario Botello I put up, even though it's Punta Gorda, some people um, – down in Inglewood, you know, they go to Ponte Gorda a lot and stuff. I put it up there just to bring the awareness. I think someone said, yeah, that's a good idea, putting your two kids there. Not, I agree. I don't know if I'd put my kids on the camera like that. But it does bring that awareness where these kids are out there saying, look, this is what happened to us. I think the guy was trying to massage their foot. I think he tried showing them some pornography. And what's really sickening about this Duke, this goofball, and I hope he's not Italian, Mario Botello, but he, he's a father. He's a, free, he's a father, a neighborhood father there, doing it to this young kid. What were they, 13 and something else? You never know. Uh, stand your ground. They're coming up with uh, basically the Supreme Court from Florida came back and said, look, you know, you might win on a criminal case where you won't go to jail. But guess what? That's not going to count towards a civil suit and you can still be sued. File, they can still file suit from you, and you'll have to pay for more from an attorney. I, how much you want to bet attorneys had them pass that? You know, you got to get more attorneys. You got to go fight the civil suit now. All right, uh, let's see. Minnesota Beach Daily. This, I, you know, I don't know if the, I think this is an older guy, but this guy is on top of crap. He's got a two-way system out there, and he hears all this stuff all the time. And that's how we broke the motorcycle chase today. Motorcycle. So that's where Steve Baker came on. He said uh, that basically they were caught um, a motorcycle chase in Venice. The cops had to call off their chase because it was getting dangerous. I can't imagine a high-speed chase on the island. Anything on the island is going to be dangerous. Wexford Northport Info left work, heard yelling. On the return, there were many cops, crime scene tape, and streets blocked off. All right, I'll get, I'll get info. I'll do a FOIA request with MPPD. He'll get back to me today. Rhonda. Same Rhonda? Yeah. Okay. Um, he also, the same Minnesota Daily put out something saying there was a car wreck, another stolen car issue where they smashed and crashed the car and the two people got out and that was in Sarasota, but it was a couple hours later, so I didn't share it. Uh, let's see, uh, be on the lookout for a camper, be on the lookout for a camper stolen last night, Northport. Actually, it was more poor Charlotte, I think she said. Um, yeah, don't know what to say to that one. I guess the guy needed, you know what? With Irma not having houses, maybe the guy needed a place to stay. All right, that brings us to the gopher turtle. Everyone loves gopher turtles. Um, there's a ton of them right here where I live in Pinebrook. And I don't know, it, I don't.
think they listed where exactly in Venice this took place, but you got a sicko, sicko kid. Um, this kid is just a sick SOB. It's Dahmer. Dahmer killed animals like this. Who the hell would shit? I, I, I went to, I graduated University of Maryland, the Turpins. We love turtles um, in, in Southern Italy. Turtles mean good fortune. You go to my sister's house, they have turtles everywhere. Uh, go for turtles. Shot them up so they're looking for any information so that they can f find out if this kid, kids, adult, whoever this uh, idiot is that shot up the turtle. Now, the question is, and I know a lot of you guys are going to wanting to ask it. I don't know if anybody did on there. I don't even see any comments on there. All right. Will the FWC pursue this like they did Shark Boy? And if they do, should we be concerned? I, if you were on yesterday's show, I told you guys Elk's got his jaw broken. He's wearing braces. He got punched in a bar in Sarasota. Um, but he's, I forget the actual, Wexel. Michael Wexel is the actual Shark Boy who started, who got that nickname. And what is the status there? I still don't know. All right. All uh, right. Let me see. I think I got another story here. One second. All right. The um, Sorry, I got distracted. I didn't up this thing. Northern marriage. Okay. All right. One last thing is the Venice Legacy P Playground installation. You know what? That park, I think, cost... This park we're referring to is though, if you're in Venice, just before you go over Venice Avenue Bridge on the west east side is a new park they built behind this industrial area next to the train station. I believe Councilman Daniels told me they spent something like 550000 on it. 550000 for another park that we just don't need. You go by there, I rarely see people there. And somebody commented on here, uh, she said, well, that's great that you're putting all this playground stuff there, but the smell behind public works is horrendous. And it is. If you ever, I, you drive by, you can smell it. It's just horrendous smelling. Who would want to go to a park there to enjoy it. Um, and that brings up the question where these, I think it was Councilwoman Anderson, who's up for re-election. She said, you know, you guys just spend $550,000 on a park that we don't need, that nobody's going to, yet you don't have enough 100000 or 50000 repair a fire station that's been, got doors coming off the hinges. It's been like this for years. You don't, we need two more fire trucks. You don't have the money for that. Uh, Jaws of Life, our Jaws of Life uh, is uh, incompatible or it's not good enough to open up the newer car models and they need a new Jaws of Life. But yet they have money, and I know some of you guys are fishers, fishermen, and they have money for the pier. What's more important? What's a higher priority? The pier so that you can throw a hook in or a fire truck in case your house burns down or your um, let's say, God forbid, your mother has a heart attack. You know, priorities. And it just pisses me off that these guys continue to get away with this crap. Because basically they know nobody pays attention. I'm wiping my tables. I'm talking. Uh, nobody pays attention. And they can get away with it. All right. Uh, Paul Fiducia, Italiano. Um, the Jetty opening, you know what? I promise you this, Paul, because I think you asked that question the other day. When I get done with this, I will email um, the city clerk. I'm not emailing the council members or mayor anymore because they pissed me off and I told them stop emailing me and I'm putting you guys on spam because Hulk is, is such a condescending ass. I said, you know what? Don't ever write me again. You you don't want to know the terms I use, but <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll write to city clerk. She, Lori's pretty good at getting to me, Paul, and I'll, I'll share whatever information um, I can get from her. She, I'll probably find some today. Rhonda, I'll find out what happened at uh, Wexford Northport Park, and I'll put that information out later. Anything else? Uh, I don't know of any big events this weekend. I am going to something. Uh, no, Damon, the uh, Anitas. He wants to know about who, um, Bob's taking over Anitas. I'm going to some event in Sarasota, I think, on Sunday where they're handing out free groceries. It's a place called Local Ice. I believe local ice, they give out free grocery to elderly people usually, but they've teamed up with All Face and they're giving out groceries to people impacted by Irma and um, that are, are struggling. And I'll try to share that a link again today or tomorrow. And so I guess they need a bunch of volunteers. Maybe I'll share it today because they need volunteers and my wife is uh, volunteering me to help out. You, you gotta love the wife for that. Um, I don't really know of any huge events going on this weekend. If I do, I'll share them. Who knows? There's always something, and I just forget about it. Old age. I'm AARP eligible now. I'm 50. 
I know. All right. Yeah. Okay, folks. I think that's it. Everybody have a great weekend. This has been Frankie with Scoop. Remember to share this, share this. And I'm going to put up a link to my, on my website where you can share that for your non-Facebook friends. Everybody have a great day. This has been Frankie with the Scoop.